All right, so I've got about an hour and a half left behind the wheel, and then we're gonna leave the rig in the lot, get on the lake. Got there. What's that? Quite the rig you got there. Thank you. Yeah, I got a little camper set up in the. That's my camper. Dude, that's f dope. So if you pull this out, it's my kitchen. Holy f dude. Pull this out. That's just You're random storage. Joking, dude. All right, guys. Well, this is a little bit ridiculous, but this is what I'm towing out by myself. A lot of bare ice, but there's a little bit of snow mixed in. Shouldn't be too bad to pull the sled. It's just this is a lot of gear for one guy to bring out. This looks a little crazy. Just gonna put this. Rope around my waist like so, and then we'll be good to go. A little pressure crack in the lake here. Luckily, the sled's big enough where you just. It's actually how, about how uh, hard I was expecting this thing to pull. You got a ways to walk it though. You can see there's a bunch of houses out this way, some out that way. We're gonna try to get out of the crowd a little bit, but I've been walking for like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes now, I guess. A lot more since last weekend. I think we better get set up here. Yeah. Try to fish. Works for me. What do you think? Oh yeah. Um, I'm gonna check my phone later to see how many miles you walked, but I'll put that up right here. Uh, 12 feet of water, so that's what we're in right now. Ben's joining me for a little bit. He doesn't even have a house, but it's warm enough out. We're not gonna be struggling too bad. On the buck. <laughs> on the bucket. Hopefully we can put some fish on the ice. So I ended up buying these interlocking gym floor mats. A lot of my buddies use these in their uh, their pop-up fish houses. So there's a different style of fish house. It's called a pop-up. A little bigger. But I've never seen anybody use these in a, in a flip over like this. So this is going to help insulate the floor a little bit so the night it doesn't get as cold in here. This is just so the wind can't get underneath the skirt here. These tents have like skirting on them. We can add a little bit more later. Got my cot all set up. But not too bad of a setup here. Oh, Ben's got a fish on. Feel like a pretty good one? 
That's a good one. It is. Oh yeah. Oh, that might be too big. Yeah. Nice fish, dude. You it choked it. <laughs> Golly. Oh, quick oh release. <laughs> 21 and a half, yeah. 22 almost. 22 and three quarters. Or sorry, 21, 21 and three quarters. three quarters. Yeah, not a bad one there. So the limit right now is you can keep two under 17 and then one over. So I think he's gonna decide not to keep this fish. Real healthy. Oh, ready to go already. See ya. Nice dude. Oh yeah. That was sick. I don't even know if like I really explained or got on video, but we just like randomly ran into each other at the at the uh, launch that we just went out of. So we yeah. decided to walk out together. Ben uh, is from Michigan. And he's only been living up here in Minnesota for eight days. He's been fishing really hard, so. Yeah. Cool, dude. Yep. Good deal. All right, All now right. I gotta get one. All right, so what I'm using for bait right now is I'm just using a jigging spoon. This one's called a Red Rattlin Flyer. And I just have it tipped with a minnow head. Don't use a whole minnow, I just use the head. Dropping it down all the way to the bottom and then just doing a couple cranks off. That's usually where those walleyes will come in, is like not even a foot off the bottom. This rod has a live minnow on it, call that a dead stick. And that's just kind of for more of a finesse approach. You are allowed two lines a person in Minnesota. You're allowed three in Wisconsin, so we're legal. We're doing it. Oh, yeah. oh he's through this hole? How the heck did he get there? What in the world? The is... Dude. <laughs> Or something. <laughs> oh my gosh, for that little thing. This little guy, there's the first fish of the night. He's definitely under 17. Nice. Boom. Well done. There's dinner. Thanks for grabbing the phone. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> so here's what that fish just came on. This is my dead stick setup. So I got like an orange circle hook on there, a couple weights. And then I swear that it was down this hole. Got one. Oh, right at the hole he came off. Oh, he popped. Eh, it was bigger than the other one. Was it? Yeah. You get those kind of corks worked out of you, like. Yeah, knocking the, the dust off. Yeah, exactly. That was just a novice move there. Picked this up at the local hardware shop. This is a rattle reel. It's just a reel that has a bell in it. And I'll show you how it works in a second once they get the line on it. I mean, it came all nice and untangled, but somehow I get my hands on it. I do great things. All right, so I'm officially out here all alone now. Um, there's been a lot of schools of fish moving in, like this right here. That's a fish. And I've been trying to clean up, but the fish aren't, aren't letting me. Gone ahead and whiffed on like three different ones. It's like 7 o'clock right now. Everybody's kind of getting off the lake. And I am the only one. Oh. Oh, I got a fish on. It's a nice one. Yeah! Come on. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. No. Oh, you're just going to come right back up. So. Get to fight him a second time. That's always fun. Kind of all the same size. They're getting bigger as the night goes on. This is like a 20 incher. He's gonna go back home. He must have splashed my heater out. So I was gonna explain what the heck this was before that fish rudely interrupted me. Basically what this is, is a dead stick. So I've got like a bigger bladed kind of jig on there. What I'm doing is I'm just back hooking those minnows like that, considered a rattle reel. So this orange line is really like a fly line. What happens is when a fish bites this, that bell moves around in the center and it makes noise. These are super popular in uh, sleeper fish houses, like RV style houses, and I've actually never owned one before. I've used them a bunch, but I've never owned one. So I found this one that had a clip on it, and I thought it'd be perfect for the night in the tent. Oh, looks like there's a fish down there again. Dude, I don't remember this lake being good at night, but it's not, it's not too bad right now. So see, this is the bottom, and then right there, that little flashing thing, that's my... That's my bait. 
so honestly what I think is happening is that there's been so many people that have gone in um, because it's getting dark out and like they just want to go home and there's not a lot of people sleeping out here because the ice isn't thick enough for those sleeper fish houses yet. I'm going to take advantage of this early ice and catch a, catch a different window of walleye than I guess is normal out here. This used to be one of the destinations I'd come to like once a year with my buddies and we'd rent a sleeper house and I just never remember the night bite being very good here so it's kind of funny that we're picking up fish right now. So with all the weight I brought in gear and snacks, um, I didn't really want to bring a giant jug of water out here. So I actually ended up bringing my filter water bottle so I could save on weight and then just take uh, water from the lake. So that's what we're gonna do now. Just gonna fill this guy up. Bunch of fish slime probably in there. Mm. Just screws on the top like that. You have drinking water. I actually really like this thing because it packs down super small because it's a bag. Kind of expensive. I think this one is like 35 bucks, but if you want one of these, I'll leave it in the description below. This isn't a brand that I'm like sponsored by or anything. It's just something that I use a little bit. Got a bunch of snacks back here. Extra rods, pots, pans, batteries. The only thing I wish I would have brought was a towel to dry the floors so I could take my boots off and then like maybe some slippers or something. If I lose this fish, I swear to Bob. Wrap around my two, sir. I think. Not that big. That's the biggest one of the night. Let's go. Let's go. No, it's not. Let's not go. That's why they're coming on hook. They're just snout biting it. It's just like, they just barely bite it. Bite the bottom. Got a tangle going on here. All right, see you later, sucker. I'm catching like all of my fish right now on the, having all these bites at least on the spoon. Same spoon I showed you earlier. It's fun, I wish I would get like one more slot fish. Actually, I don't really care. And there's a fish on the bottom again. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. My reel's loose. Oh, he's like wrapped around the transducer again? No, he's not. Ah! Ah! Ah, he's about the same size. Is this the same fish? Oh my. So strong. Another one. Oh. It's completely soaked my heater every time. is how we do it yeah that's what i'm talking about all right so i'm just laying down in the bed now look at how dry the floor got from the heater it's completely dry now so now we're gonna do this little corner here the fish splashed just hanging out with greasy hair in my bed on the ice like at this rate i'm not even gonna need the sleeping bag I haven't marked a fish in a little while now. It's about 9.30 at night. Oh my, as soon as I say something, dude. Is that a fish for real? What do you guys think? You think this is a fish? This is so funny. No, oh, it's not a fish. Um, I was going to clean this thing up and eat it tonight. But it sounds like so much work right now. And I'm not really willing to do, so he's going to sit in the ice there until morning. And then I'm going to have him for lunch. I did bring a, a McRib to make. So maybe I'd actually make a McRib for dinner really quick. I wish I would have known about this like four years ago. That this was possible. Because I would be doing this all the time. And this thing still looks better than McDonald's. And I made it in the middle of the freaking lake. Like, look at Yep. Still looks better than McDonald's. I wish I could fit more barbecue sauce in this without making a giant mess, but maybe I can. Please, nothing crazy happen. Can I just enjoy some barbecue on my McRibbage? 
Okay. Epic meal time over. He got it. I think he does. He's got it. He's got it. Alright, what do we got here? Keeper! Yeah! So I'm not really going to worry about the camera right now. Because the last one that I thought was a keeper made it back home. Stop. Uh, this is so, it's so hard to measure a fish by yourself. Stay. Stop. Holy sh... Ah! Every time I take my hand off you, stop! 15 and a half, baby. Yeehaw! Of course... I wake up to fish i will try to uh include you guys in on the fun but it is getting to be about that time oh my god oh my god are you serious i can't make this stuff up if that fish would have gone away i don't need <laughs> okay um time to go to bed i'm getting a little loopy Am I ever gonna get to go to bed? Come on up here, buddy. It's really big. It's pretty big for Red Lake. Oh, yeah. All right. Seed Buster. Oh, yeah! Doesn't get old. I'm not even mad that I'm still awake. It's like 11 o'clock right now. As long as I keep catching fish like that. I think I've tried to film that scene of me going into my sleeping bag like three different times. Every time I do it, a fish bites the frickin' the rattle reel. <laughs> oh, maybe. I must have been sleeping a little bit if that fish was hooked so deep. It happened at 12.27, and now I'm going back to bed. Got him. Oh, it's a burbot. Oh, he's crazy. Oh, God, he swallowed that, huh? Open up, pouty. Look at this thing. It's called an eel pout. It's like a big eel. See its tail? They're actually pretty good eating, but I'm not really sure I want to clean it. You got to kind of clean it like back straps on it. You can boil these kind of like lobster. And Sprite. They call it poor man's lobster. Oh my god. Grease. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Oh my gosh. What the f Oh. <laughs> I have not been able to sleep since I've had that thing out tonight. I'm gonna be upset with myself if I don't retie it, so I'm gonna do that quick. Alright, time to go to bed again.
I'm not gonna lie, I did not want to get up for that rattle reel. Oh god, I don't even want to reel up that slack. Dude, I still haven't fallen asleep from the last fish from that burbot. Oh, these fish just won't let me sleep. It's so horrible. Oh. I kept the rattle reel up after I caught the last fish. Alright, looks like my heater's starting to run out of propane. I better get the heck out of here. Probably about time to get off the lake anyway. I got a lot of stuff to pack up, so I'll just see you once I get all this situated. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it was fun to make. Sorry I didn't get to cook those walleyes up, but I had no control over how much propane I had left. I had no idea I was that low. Anyway, I'm gonna get on this hike. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning this episode. Until next time, my name's Maverick, and you already know the drill. Just keep on trucking.